Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I make short Photoshop tutorials for beginners and practicing editors. Photoshop has a million tools, but my approach is to make it simple. And if you like this kind of content, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to create more and more. Um, I love sharing my knowledge with you guys. On that note, let's get started with the video. If you click on this video, you know what to expect. We're going to retouch the nails. Um, to be honest, I almost finished this picture and then I thought that it might be a good tutorial. So I just left one nail. I'm going to show you how to easily expand the nail, change the shape of it, change the color of the nail and how to clean up the cuticle. So let's get started. While you're being on the background layer, I want you to go to the left side panel and select a curvature pen tool your pen tool and I want you to select the area of the nail that you want to expand so I'm just going to select around here I don't want to select the um, rough edge because that's not what we want to expand we actually want to cover it so I will just go over this clean side just like so that will be enough um, once the selection is made you can actually right click make selection it will ask you for the radius and pixels um, one pixel for this image is fine you can adjust however it's needed for your image you click ok now the selection is made um, i want you to click command c and command v what that would do is put the selection on a new layer layer one while being on that layer i want you to click command t for transformation you will go up here and this tool will basically give you more flexibility if you want just to drag this area that's totally fine you can do so um, but i also want to show you the easy way to do with this tool plus it gives you more flexibility i personally prefer that tool over the regular transformation but that's totally a personal preference so let's just adjust the shape of the nail all we need to do is basically cover the grown nail making this manicure look fresh just like so make sure it keeps the perfect shape it matches the edges yeah there you have it it is already beautiful like compared to how it was before it's already looking better and from far you can even see um, but if you're being a perfectionist, like, look at this nail, this is perfect, and you cannot even tell that it was right here. <laughs> so what we need to do is to clean this transition. Um, I'm sure you can see it. So I'm just going to create a mask while being on the new layer. If you want to learn more about masks, I have a special video dedicated to that, very simple explanation. The link will be um, up here. But all you need to do is just to select the regular brush tool, make sure it's set on black that means we're removing the selection and i'm just going right here i'm just kind of diffusing the transition yeah so that's the before this is the after beautiful the only thing that is kind of concerning me um is this double highlight it's not looking too natural to me so what i'm gonna do is merge this two layers Create a new one and I'm just gonna use the curvature tool again but I just want to cover the double highlight I feel like it's too much it's better now it looks more natural um, now going to merge layers again and now we're just going to repeat the same process with the cuticle so again you want to select um, the area that looks clean you don't want this rough edges <laughs> because that's what we're trying to hide and I'm just going to make a selection Okay. 
it already looks relatively better um, but you can still see the transition line so what I recommend doing is merging these two layers again through um, command E and then you can create a new layer actually let's create two uh, while being on this layer I want you to reduce opacity to about 50% go back to the layer one and you can click the mixer brush tool I want you to make sure that it's set a moist light mix percentage uh, will be automatically set up or you can adjust and then I just want you to select the neighboring colors and just sort of blend the transition Just like so, you can go back to this layer, you can reduce the opacity slightly, or you can put it higher if you want to, but I want to reduce it slightly so we have a smooth transition like this. Yeah, it already looks awesome. Then you can sharpen that area if you want to. For this particular image, that's not really necessary. As long as the nails look fresh, as long as the cuticle is clean, that's a perfect picture for me. So I'm just going to merge all the layers and here you go you have beautiful nails with a clean cuticle and fresh manicure that looks great so what i want to show you now is how to easily change the color of all the nails selected and the easy way to go about it is again by using the curvature pen tool so all you need to do is just select all the nails and i'll show you what to do next Alright, so here are all of our nails selected and didn't bother that nail, honestly, it's just for tutorial purposes. So as we have the nails selected, I want you to go down here to the right side panel and select solid color. Now don't worry, uh, let's pick some random color. Let's see sky blue. All you need to do at this point is go back to the blending options. And I want you to select color. There you have it. So that was the before. And here you have the after. The nails look super beautiful, natural, and you can play around with different colors. I will just keep it blue for now. I really like it. Um, I want to show you how to make the nails more dimensional, more 3D looking. While you're being on this layer, you can just right click and choose blending options. Then I want you to go to bevel and emboss. Here, I want you to play around with the settings. You can play around with the angle. That actually looks good. Yeah, that already looks cool. You can play around with those settings, but just to give you a basic idea, that was the before. And here is the after. All right, I think you guys got the point and you can play around with different settings and change the nail color, change the nail shape, but it gives you at least a general idea. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'm always glad to help and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.